Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, December the 21st, 2018, and this is episode 2,926. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, D.C. Stay tuned. D.C. So what's that all about? Is this episode going to be about comics or superheroes? No, not at all. I almost titled this episode D.D., but I changed it to D.C., and you'll understand why. First of all, let me share with you that I'm going to be reading you a passage of Scripture from the Epistle of Third John. Listen to what it says, beginning in verse 9. John is sending this letter to Gaius, who many assume was housing the uh, a New Testament church in his home. And in verse 9, he says, I wrote to the church... But Diotrephes, who loves to have the preeminence among them, does not receive us. Therefore, if I come, I will call to mind his deeds, which he does, pratting against us with malicious words. And not content with that, he himself does not receive the brethren and forbids those who wish to, putting them out of the church." Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. Demetrius has a good testimony from all and from the truth itself. And we also bear witness, and you know that our testimony is true. A tale of two people in a New Testament church, Diotrephes and Demetrius. There's the D's. Diotrephes is somebody who just was disruptive. And I have learned that we always have people similar to Diotrephes and Demetrius in the church. We have those seeking to be the head of everything, forgetting the very reason and why of the work that we do in the church. And then there are those who just want to serve without regards to position and prestige. You know, the ones that love being parking lot attendants and opening the doors and serving coffee. <laughs> And as John stated here in this passage, those who seek the preeminent role, seeking to do harm and exhibit control for evil purposes, will not go unnoticed. On the other hand, those who abide in truth and are faithful to the work will also stand out and have a great testimony. If we seek to be prominent and the greatest among men, we will hinder the work of Christ because the greatest leaders are always servants. So where's the C, Bruce? Well, you've got Diotrephes and Demetrius, a simple choice. One was cantankerous and the other was consistent. Demetrius has a good testimony from all and from the truth itself. So let me ask you today, where are you going to line up? Are you going to be Diotrephes or are you going to be Demetrius? Are you going to be cantankerous or are you going to be consistent? What is your motive today? What is your why today? 
Father, thank you. Thank you for giving us contrasts like this in the Word. And Lord, help us, if we happen to be in our life a Demetrius, Lord, help us not to be proud and arrogant about that, but to give you honor and glory for the opportunities that we have to serve. Because, Lord, it would be all too easy for us to transition from one to the other. Help us to live today and serve others for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Enjoy the weekend as you get ready for the celebration of Christ's birth, Christmas. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Thank you.